name and your connection to? Carl Watkins, better known as Carl Guitar Watkins. Mm -hmm. And you are a longtime acquaintance? A longtime friend with uh, my buddy Marvin. How did you come to, get to know one another? Oh, it started off like this. Um, I got married in 86. So I stopped playing a while because I had to take care of my new wife. So, <laughs> so I kind of just stopped playing, period. So two years after, you know, as a musician, you start missing it. You know, and actually, I remember crying. You know, I was like, hey, Lord, I got to play again because I've been playing ever since I was seven years old and professionally 14 years old. And uh, one day I was, well, actually, it was on a Sunday. We used to go to get the post dispatch paper, and I was looking in one ads for a musician, and I seen this ad, a uh, band, local band, looking for guitar player. And it actually didn't say Breeze, because I knew about Breeze back in the day, you know, because it was, you know, it was hot back in the day, you know, and uh, uh, like I said, I didn't know it was Breeze, so I told the wife, uh, no, nah, actually, I called, called and talked to Marvin, and he said, uh, you play guitar? I said, yeah, yeah, he's like, uh, well, uh, we have an audition. Do you want to come on audition? I was like, sure. He said, well, you can come right now. I was like, right now? Sure, we rehearsing now. Come on down. He gave me the address and everything. And it's funny because I told my wife. Uh, she's like, where are you going? <laughs> I said, I'm going to audition for this band. And she's like, what you mean? You don't even know these people. I said, hey, baby, I got to play. You know what I'm saying? I said, it'll be all right. And I'm going to grab my amp, mm -hmm. my guitar, and went down. And... and uh, the rest is history. I mean, we. How long had you played? Have you played with Marvin and Breeze? Since '89. And there were other bands. You had other. Yeah, I had other or? bands that I played with, and uh, we kind of broke up after we got out of high school and college and stuff. So. Okay. But uh, after I just after I got married in '86, I just shut it down. Period. Okay. Yeah. What was it like working with Marvin? Oh, excellent. Uh, we bonded soon as we when we first met. I mean, it was, and you know, by him being a, a, a school teacher, you know, he knew all the cards and everything, and, and, and I play a lot of cards when I was, you know, when I play, and I uh, knew a lot of cards that he, that he was playing, and the good thing about it, he was like one of the first ones, the bands that I played in, that he would actually chart out his cards, you know, and uh, so that really made it easy for me to, you know, to learn the songs, you know, because that's how I was taught, yeah, to play, you know, chart out my cards and stuff. What, what 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 were you playing now? This is this original music or this uh, does that come later? So that came later, right? These were uh, as we call OPS, other people, other people music. What is o o other people music? We call it OPS. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> OPS, you know. You OPS with with Marvin. Yes. Okay. Well, I told him I was writing. He 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 wrote some songs too, and eventually we started writing, you know, our stuff. And every now and then we'd throw some of our original stuff stuff in. So. From that experience, did you find yourself growing as a musician, or did it enhance your um, interactions with other bands? And other oh bands? yes, yes. As far as as, as growing, Marvin, he, he really he taught me a lot. He he taught me a lot uh, uh, as far as being a musician. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more than not, you know, he just he did. He 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 really inspired me and, and taught me a lot. Actually, a lot of the guys in the band, like Kevin. Kevin White, I could call him Big Brother, Big Brother Kevin. Yeah, he 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 taught me a lot too. Okay, yeah, so. describe um, his person, Marvin's personality in terms of uh, the, your ability to interact with him. Oh, very kind, passionate. Yes, yeah, sir. Kind, passionate. Any stories you can tell us about some of those experiences? Whether you it. it it's good. Or oh, yeah, crazy. Good ones, good ones and crazy stuff, but I, I, I can't say. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Why not? <laughs> I'd rather keep that a secret. You know what I'm saying? You know what they say: what goes in Vegas stays in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, I don't want to get us in trouble. You know. What about those those <laughs> concerts and the annual Focus concerts? Uh, mm -hmm. You did. You've done several of those. All of them except for one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the concerts, yeah, I think, yeah, all, all but one. And what was that like? Uh, oh, great experience. Uh, like I said, we've been playing together so long, we just know each other, and and uh, we've been through a lot of musicians, through. I think probably I might be the only 
think I might be the only original left. Really? Yeah, yeah. So you are <laughs> a steady stalwart in terms of being there for the band and working with Mark. Yes, I mean, that's, that's my big brother. He always had my back and I always had his back. You know what I'm saying? And, and we worked just so good together. I mean, when we play together, we don't even have to look at each other because we know what we're going to do and where we're going to go. So. Is that right? Is that, you know, not being a musician, I would assume that that's how you, you work best. If you and the others are able to kind of read one another's mind as to what they're doing, where yes. they're going. Yeah, that's what, makes it, that's what makes it flow. A lot of bands don't survive. Um, a lot of musicians really can't make a living, but it seems like... Uh, working with Marvin, um, you've been able to to keep it together. Yes, and yeah. not lose interest. Correct. Why? What? What keeps you to, keeps it going? What makes it interesting? Well, because it's it's when you when you work with Marvin. I mean, he just makes it fun. He's genuine, and he's real, and he just makes for me. I can't speak for the other musicians, but it we it just makes you want to come back. And just and just feel and just play 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 with each other, you know. Okay. And I can remember some times where back in the day, where we uh, played out all night long. I mean, it, I was telling some coworkers this the other day how uh, the sun would coming up, the sun would be coming up, and we just not getting home. I just have enough time. Well, both of us, because he was teaching too, you know, teaching then, and it'd just be enough time to. Go home, put your equipment up, take a shower, and go to work. And go to work. But we was young then. We'd die now. I, know, I don't know about Martin, but I couldn't do that now. So. <laughs> I probably knew I'd pass out, you know what I'm saying? So I couldn't do that now. So. Well, I'm glad that you have, have been there and been supportive. Uh, tell me again, how many bands did you, have you worked with Marvin on? Band? Or? Yeah. Is it, Focus is not, is the name now. No, we had, right, we had Breeze. Uh, to the next stage with style, um, let's see, focus, and there was another one too. I, mean, uh, I can't think of There was the fourth though. The fourth one, yes. At least four. Yeah. Wow. That's wonderful. Is there anything else you can think of that might be um, helpful in understanding why this has worked so well? Well, because like I said, we have that bond and we are yeah. good good writers together you know um, I'm playing on most of his his uh, I think probably just about one one of his CDs but I'm playing on most of his most of his his his, his, his uh, tracks in uh -huh. his projects and same here when I do mine stuff when I do my stuff he comes and put most of the keyboards down you know I play keyboards a little bit but when I need the big hitter in I, I call my buddy more than him he mm -hmm. comes in Lace real stuff down for me. So excellent. Well, I think you've given me plenty. You got. You've given us what. What I think. Unless Marvin, you hear something or you know there's something else that should should be no. shared. You you know all the stories. <laughs> you know the history. No, I think that's fine. Okay. That's good. okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank uh -oh. you. Don't go. Yeah. Uh -oh. Don't jump up because. We'll